Uh, this is the best news I can give you. The weather is improving, but wow, one inch to almost two inches of rainfall fell like we talked about yesterday. Current temperature is feeling much better than yesterday. Upper 40s to the upper 50s. That is the range at this hour. Radar. You see, if you look closely here, you say, hey, Byron, man, I don't see any rain over the boroughs. Well, the radar doesn't pick up drizzle, and so there could be some drizzle, and I cannot rule out a little light rain off and on today on the backside of the low. The heaviest rain, strong updrafts and downdrafts over at Brook Caving. That's giving me some heavy downpours and still local ponding there. So there is flooding out across the tri-state with all the rain, but as the morning progresses, that will recede. The water will recede. If you were flying, this forecast much easier than yesterday when I was trying to tell you what time you could get uh, off the tarmac, off the runway. Today, everywhere is fine. Uh, there are going to be no delays unless you're going and you're driving up north towards Boston, but everywhere else across the U.S., it's fine. Rain Futurecast says, yeah, just what I said. There is a few drops possible today on the backside of the low. November so far, but the heaviest rain is over. That's the great news. Heaviest rain is over. November so far, look at the breakdown. Eight days have been above, below 13, so that should be uh, below average, right? And it is for the city. So if you live in the uh, Bronx or if you live in, say, Hell's Kitchen or Washington Heights, 55 is your average. You're running a little bit below average. A little bit below average as well as if you live in the Bronx and Queens and Brooklyn because I use LaGuardia for you guys. And then New Jersey is actually above average by one degree. So this month's not that bad. Today, the jet stream is ridging with that, that area of low pressure that brought up the rain, also brought up the heat. Therefore, our temperature by lunchtime to 1 o'clock, that's the high of the day, 60 degrees. 60 degrees is the high today. By tonight at 10 o'clock, the wind chill will feel like it's in the 40s, so know it's going to drop quickly. Tomorrow morning, it's going to drop even more because air is coming out of Canada. Therefore, if you're waking up at 8 in the morning, wind chills low to mid 30s possible tomorrow. Going to the parade, uh, I would definitely wear some layers and then discard them by about 10. Not discard them, but you won't need as many by 11 in the morning. 60 today is early, and then the 10 p.m. wind chill feel like 40 degrees. Tomorrow will start off chilly. Look at your temperature wind chill on Saturday morning. 17 degrees as we get influenced by that Canadian Arctic air. 17 to start off Saturday morning. The high will run a good 13 degrees below our average high of 52 to 53. The high is only going to be 38 on Saturday.